I feel like I'm so oily. Hi Aries and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for anybody that has their sun, moon, rising, midheaven, and or their Venus sign in Aries. Nonetheless, if you just happened to come across this video for whatever reason, there is one. So I pray that whatever you hear, it finds you well at this time. Um, let's go ahead <laughs> and get into your reading. Um, what came out for you energetically was the Three of Pentacles, followed by the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot with the Nine of Cups card. Okay, um, coming into the obstacles, you have the Queen of Swords, followed by the Sun card, and the Three of Cups. Okay, now for the end of July and what you need to focus on to overcome these energies, you have the Empress card, followed by the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So, what I'm hearing is keep it pushing. No matter what, keep it pushing. Especially if you have been trying to build on um, a business idea. Let's say you have started your own business, right? And you're in the beginning stages of reaping what you harvest. You have to realize that there are going to be some mistakes along the way. But when they happen, not to be stuck in a state of devastation and acting like you can't take the lesson from that and move forward and do better and to make sure that you don't um, repeat the same mistake the next time. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing elsewhere. Some of you might be taking your love elsewhere by the end of July. If you feel like you are not appreciated, if you feel like every time you try to set up a plan with this person, and they always bail on the last minute, right? You may get fed up with that and by the end of July, you know, decide to just take your love and go somewhere else and start anew somewhere else. Um, some of you might be renewing vows. Okay, that's coming through. Some of you might be in the dark about getting proposed to. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, you're taking this the wrong way. You feel like your partner's doing something um, behind your back without your knowledge. So that's where this sun comes into play. Um, you're not looking at it in an optimistic way. Well, I don't know how you can when somebody's doing some sneaky shit. Of course, you, you're going to find it to be sus and you'll have questions. But um, I would just say don't jump to conclusions and make assumptions without first gaining the knowledge. Because Apollo is a sun god. He is a god of wisdom. He's an all-encompassing god. Um, the sun talks about eternal flame. The sun, on a planetary um, level, right, to make this make sense right now, I know that the sun is in Cancer, so that might be clouding your thoughts at this time and may also be affecting how you communicate um, with other people at this time there might be some conflict there there might be a square because your natal placement might be more air than water but yeah some of you guys are overly emotional right now <laughs> because the sun is in cancer um, some of you just don't know how to operate within um, cancerian modalities and water signs um, and so you're really just kind of like keeping to yourself more until this energy passes over because you don't want to say the wrong thing. I would say bite your tongue or try to find, um, a middle ground. Okay. I'm hearing that. Try to find a middle ground if these are conflicting energies where you don't necessarily, um, hold back the things that you want to say, right? Don't fully bite your tongue but don't go ham on anybody either so find that middle ground i just keep looking at this sun card and i know 
in Spanish, sun is sol, el sol, and sol is also talking about our souls, like our internal, eternal flame, if you will, and that is what this card um, relates to. I just keep looking at that. You guys might be soul searching. If it's not your partner setting up a surprise proposal or one of your friend's guys comes to you and asks you to help with doing a proposal, but right, like if it's nothing like that, then this can all um, this can be about you getting baptized, like rebaptized, or just rededicating yourself to your faith or your religion. So sorry that took a while for it to come out, but I am seeing that here. For some of you, um, you are trying to figure out ways to accumulate more wealth and figuring out ways to manifest that so you can live your best life. I'm here in living your best life. You want to live your best life. You want to set yourself up um, and your family up, um, really everybody that you care about up for success in their life as well. Some of you guys are really coming up with like a business plan, but it's had to come after you've kind of like lost a lot so make sure though that like if you do borrow money from anybody that you figure out a way to repay them i feel like first get some advice and try to implement those things in your life before you ask for money because you know some people are sending you with money some people want you to pay them back on a certain date when you definitely still don't have the money to pay them back you know people are just funny when it comes to money so i would definitely say ask for more advice that um, can help you get out of the situation that you're in but some of you guys are trying to make investments I can definitely see that you might be learning taking some classes to learn how to invest more money you're really more concerned about your finances at this time than anything else some of you guys are establishing trust with this three of pentacles and this nine of pentacles um, as it pertains to a romantic relationship and it's ascending to higher levels, um, which is exciting, right? Love that. Love when love is going well. <laughs> but that is definitely on the table. It's like you, you keep waiting for things as time goes on to, like, go sour, I guess. But that's just not the case. Like, this person's really, really here. This person's really not going anywhere. I'm hearing, um, don't make up anything in your mind. Don't make anything up. See everything for what it is. So I feel like also just having more trust for what is being shown to you. Right? So you, you can trust in this offer. You can trust in this relationship. You can trust on the things that you are building. You can trust um, on the things that you are learning. That there will be a return on the investment that you made for um, continuing your education to learn this new skill to generate more wealth. So just as it relates to you personally and what you're going through, if you've been asked to be in someone's wedding... Um, now you have a lot of responsibilities. You might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but you want to make sure that the day comes together um, as it has been planned, right? You want to make sure that everybody's happy in this case. I'm just definitely seeing a wedding here. A wedding is on the table. Somebody's talking about a wedding. Somebody's planning for a wedding. You have been invited to the wedding. You are a part of the wedding or you're helping with the proposal itself but I feel like some of you guys are struggling with like a, the concept and like the venue maybe um, where you're gonna have it what it's gonna look like the timing of it um, if there's gonna be a band you might be trying to figure out who's gonna be playing the music at the wedding at this time or at the proposal um, you can be helping somebody pick out a ring um, giving advice, 
and I just see you guys just being really excited with this Sun card and you really want everything to go well. You might be imagining how it's going to play out. You might be having dreams about your wedding, um, who you want to be married to, or just how the proposal is going to go again. Um, don't get too in your head about it though, you know. Don't get too anxious about it. I'm hearing don't worry about being perfect. Just do the best that you can do. Again, right? We're ending it on that. Keep it pushing no matter what, right? Everything might not go as you plan it to go. And that is okay. Um, it will still be successful. Now, if this is about starting a business, it's not about being perfect, but it is about getting the job done at the end of the day, right? Just have something to show have something to give you can always work on the minute details later and anything that you don't know how to do if you want to approve the overall aesthetic of what it is that you're working on you can definitely find the resources for other people to help you so that it's better later but don't worry about things being perfect because nothing is perfect right some of you guys you are just now starting to get back on your feet and you may have gotten into this newly established relationship that's going well. Um, you just have small like issues, maybe on legality things as far as like signing the rest of the contracts, rest of the paperwork for the home that you live in, um, or just feeling like you don't have enough time that you can actually spend with your partner right now, but that's nothing that's really um, to the point of aggravation for you, but you've definitely noticed that you guys don't really have um, a lot of date nights. Anyway, regardless of the fact, you're starting to get your life back in order, and some of you might be finding out that you are pregnant, right? And it was definitely something that you were not expecting to have to deal with right now. It was not something that you wanted to add to the load that you're already carrying, right? With this Empress card, but it is a blessing, and it is a blessing in disguise. And congratulations on that. Your partner will see it as a blessing. They might um, be a little like cold feet at first, you know, it might be a little shocking. He might not know what to say. She might not know what to say, like it could really play out either way. But at the end of the day, it's, it's um, good news. If you're not pregnant, you are fertile, so be careful if you don't want to get pregnant. But that's what I'm picking up for you guys as far as chakras go. Your heart chakra, throat chakra, root chakra, sacral chakra, and I think that's it. Yeah, so those chakras need to be balanced all but the third eye and the crown chakra, really. So balance those, and at this time, give me a thumbs up if this resonated, share this with your friends and family, and do subscribe for more.